Hey everybody, in this video, we are going to graph the cube root function. Um, and in this example, we'll apply three transformations. So let's just dive in. Um, if you end up feeling confused about this one, uh, in the next example, I'm going to do the square root function, which I think comes up more often, especially if you make your way to calculus one day, comes up more often than the cube root does. So I do go into more detail in that video as opposed to this one. This one, I am going to hit some key concepts. I'm going to talk about the parent function. I'm going to talk about the A, H, and K, and then we're just going to go for it. Um, I think that you should memorize with the cube root that once you have what we call the point of inflection, you might call it a vertex, maybe, I don't know. Um, once you apply that, up one, out one, up one, out seven, it's good enough, okay? Unless there's a stretch or reflection. So anyway, first thing, this over here we're looking at is y equals a, a is two. Cube root, cube root is the parent function. It's where the x is living, okay? x minus h plus k. a, h, and k are the three basic things that we mess around with in an algebra class. Occasionally there's a b on the inside, but these are the three that we're going to see dealt with most often. So what do they all do? A and K as well. Everything not inside the house that H uh, that X lives in affects our graph vertically. If A is greater than one, well, the absolute value of A is greater than one, that's a vertical, spell vertical correctly, stretch. And in this case, that's what we have. So in this case, A equals two. So we're gonna have a vertical stretch of two. If you had between zero and one, it would be a vertical compression. It's gonna compress this way. Um, minus H. We also have minus, okay, in our problem, just like the structure has right there. So X minus H, like that, that's going to shift everything to the right, okay, shift everything to the right. So in this case, we have x minus 1. So where are we going? Right, not left, one unit. So we're going to go to the right, one unit. So, so far we've addressed what a does. We addressed what the H does, and then the K um, is outside of the function itself, and plus K in this case, shift everything up, so this one makes more sense, plus goes up, up K, can I spell? Probably. Units. So if k equals 2, or we have plus 2 at the end, we're going to go up 2. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just graph the parent function, okay? Y equals the cube root of X. The cube root of zero is zero. The cube root of one, what number times itself? Three times is one, one. The next number that I can take the cube root of you're going to see in the next example, I do the same thing, but with perfect squares, just you're going to get one, two, three, four for your outputs, okay? What number 
when you take the cube root of it gives you two, well, take two and multiply it by itself three times. So two times two times two is eight. So I'm already over one. I need to move over then seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the that's what got me at eight. And then cube root of eight is two. The next point would be all the way at 27, up three. After that, over all the way to 64, so over how much more? Up four. And so it's just very, very, very flat, this graph. We're not going to get a lot of points that are precise. Now we can take a cube root of a negative because negative one times negative one times negative one is negative one. So it's not like a square root, which again, you'll see in the next video. Then down one over one, down one over two, four, six, seven. You need to know that. Stop like just guessing and making up numbers, okay? If you just know one and seven for cube root from your point of inflection where your concavity switches and the odds for square root, that's it. Stop making up your own numbers, knock it off. They're wrong, they're wrong. You can't just do what you want, okay? It's right or it's wrong. And when you make up stuff, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Not really. I'm not sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry that it's been going on this long, that you've been lying to yourself. All right. Anyhow, there's your parent function. I need to go and fix this up. Okay? I need to apply the transformation. So we just said what they all are, right? We said we're going to have a vertical stretch of two. We are going to have it move right one unit and we're going to have it up to. These two, right one and up two, are the easiest to get started with. Right two and up one. This point right there is my new point of inflection. That origin point is now there. Right two, up one. If that two were not in front of the cube root, that one right there, from here, up one over one, up one over seven, dots, curve, down one over one, down one over seven, draw it, you're done, arrows on each end. But we have a vertical stretch. So instead of going up one over one, up one over seven, you're going up two over one. You're stretching it vertically by two. You're doubling the vertical movement by two. The horizontal movement doesn't get affected nothing changes horizontally. That stays the same. Vertical is stretching. So up two over one, up two over two, four, six, seven. And if you're still asking, why are we going over seven? We're already over one. The next perfect cube is eight. So seven more, okay? That's why. <laughs> Get it. Boom. Beautiful. Down two over one, down two over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Done. Finito. Best thing you drew in your whole life. I hope that you're able to draw that on your own. Okay. If you have like a little highlighter or something, I something I also recommend is it, they're not asymptotes, but maybe you draw yourself like dotted lines to almost represent your new imaginary x and y axes. Like you calibrate like a a, a cursor or like um crosshair in a video game. I couldn't remember the word. All right. So I hope you get it. Got it know it love it and if you do if you feel pretty good thumbs up not so great hate it go thumbs down let me know i'll put some thumbnails at the end of the video to bring you to either the next video in this playlist as well as any other videos i have that have to do with graphing parent functions and specifically this type if i can quickly access them all right and i hope you're having a nice day so far Adiós.